South Carolina heads to Athens, Georgia to take on the Bulldogs. This line sits currently 31 and a half in favor of the Bulldogs. Uh, they have not given up a single offensive touchdown on the year thus far. And I, w- I will go ahead and tell you, my line was actually Georgia minus 23. But this 30, this 31 and a half does look enticing because when I initially set the line, I kind of forgot about the fact that Will Muschamp is now an on-field assistant and, and he and Kirby have been buddies for a long time. This could be one of those spots where they start tacking on touchdowns late if they have the opportunity, of course. Maybe they tack on a few more touchdowns just because South Carolina fired Will Muschamp. Now, I don't know that there's any kind of animosity like that, but it does make me a bit... I'm not as confident in taking South Carolina as I initially was because I don't know that South Carolina can score on this defense. I, I'm i going to roll with my line. I'm going to say South Carolina keeps this within 30, but... I mean, who knows? So give, give me the dog to at least cover the 31 and a half. You think J.C. Daniels plays in this game? It doesn't affect my, my pick at all, by the way. No, I don't think they need him. I, why, I, why would you? Your offense yeah. looked amazing last week. This game shouldn't be any different than that week. Listen, you don't you don't make spread 31 and a half when you play FCS opponents, okay? This, this, this line, this is just too much. This is gross exaggeration. This is a storyline. I love it how coaches, are absolute dog shit, okay? They're the ones that lose. They're the ones that are bad. And then somehow they're going to play their old team that fired them and they got an axe to grind. What the <laughs> we, Who's grinding axes here, baby? If Will didn't suck, then Will wouldn't have gotten fired. That's okay? true. That's like, true. Like, can somebody explain that mental gymnastics that these guys do? I would like somebody to try and sit on a couch and explain to me how you think you're a victim of something. And it's okay now for you to justify running up the score on your old boss who absolutely justifiably fired you. You know? <laughs> like, that's, that's I, I just don't get that part of the story at all. But you're 100% right. That's there. And I bet Will thinks that. Because these guys are all narcissists. They're all complete and utter sociopaths. And, and they think they're always in the right and the people are wrong. Neither here nor there doesn't matter. 31, like I said, you don't, you don't make the lines against FCS teams that big. Shane Beamer, he's feeling himself out. I, I would think that, that Georgia gives up their first touchdown. I don't know how, but, but come on, man. This game's not going to be close. One team is trying to get Bo eligible, and the other team's trying to win a national championship. Okay? That, that's the difference. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I agree. I expect a lot of running clock. I expect a lot from the ground game. I don't think Georgia's going to come out like they did last week, throwing the ball all over the yard, 50 yards down the field. And even if they do, South Carolina's got a better defense than UAB does, at, at least as far as talent goes. They actually have guys that can match up. So, I, yeah, I, I'm, I'm with you. Like, 31 and a half, just too I'll many t- I, will t- I will tell you this. If they start running it up, it would not surprise me. The South Carolina team has nothing to play for this year. you got a couple of seniors out there that don't like Georgia. You start running it up, and you're playing for a national title. We'll take some guys out, baby, because if we get a headhunting, you know, penalty and we get suspended for it, who gives a shit? We're out of here, and this team's no good anyway. But if we take one of your guys to the moor, baby, that's just you. You now have a loss because you're playing for something. I uh, I don't know if I would have taken it that far, but I do appreciate the fact that you did. <laughs> but hang on now, I love the realism. If you're getting if you're getting run up, I'm just putting yourself in the in the mental aptitude of a 22-year-old senior at South Carolina who has one big, unbelievable, amazing victory against Georgia. His other coach, his old coach, was on the other sidelines, and now that coach is trying to run it up on him. And you telling me I wouldn't roll up on some offensive lineman's knee? Hell yeah, I would. Yeah, no, I could I could see it. I could see it. The, the mental and now, gymnastics And now you start games. losing a couple of old linemen, and now all of a sudden now you're not playing for a national title anymore. Congratulations, Kirby. <laughs> Hope you're excited. No, I, I think I think there is something to that. There is certainly something to that. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.